Hey guys, guess what? I just got my first job. Um, unfortunately, it is not a weekly mow job. It's uh, just a one-time, one-time mow and uh, trimming of some um, trimming of some bushes. But it's okay. Uh, I've only been advertising about a week, and uh, I've had I've had a couple hits on you know online, uh, people on Facebook mainly. Um, what I've done for advertising so far is I've uh, did some door hangers in, um, in one neighborhood that's close to where I keep my trailer. I also uh, have you know, been pushing uh, a lot of advertisement on Facebook, uh, put an advertisement on Craigslist, and what I am doing next is um, I'm going to be sending out letters to uh, new home buyers. Uh, if you look on the whatever county you live in, if you look on your property appraiser website, uh, they normally have the recent uh, recent home sales, they'll have a list. And I'm gonna be sending out some personal you know, personal letters to, you know, to those people. Uh, a good tip that I learned from um, George Packard, Family Lawn and, Lan uh, Family Lawn and Landscape, um, really, good, uh, really good channel if you're not subscribed, he gives you a lot of good tips, uh, is that to make the letter look personal, don't send out, you know, one of the ones from uh, like a big company or something like that, you know, online, you know, where they send them out like a mass, you know, mass mailing. Cause it, it looks like junk mail, and they're not going to open it. So what I did is I went and I hand wrote, hand wrote uh, all of my my envelopes, um, you know, so they look like they came from you know came from a friend, a neighbor, or somebody. You know, they look they look more personal and less like junk mail. So uh, I'm going to get those out in the mail, hopefully today, um, and. Yeah, things are going slow uh, as far as advertising goes. It actually is really, what I've noticed is it's really hard to advertise lawn care. And, you know, I, I think what it is, is for me and you, you know, we're, we're, we are passionate about, about lawns, lawn care, grass. Um, you know, so we, things like, you know, th you know things that matter to us don't necessarily matter to the homeowner like the fact that you know we use better equipment we you know use greener practices um you know we more knowledgeable about uh you know about lawn care you know, and, and you know grass grass growth and that kind of thing um the fact that you know you're a smaller company you take you know better personal care of each lawn uh, you don't use any um illegal work uh sorry illegal workers you know those things you know, that that would matter to me and you, and you would think that that would set us apart from some of the you know the other the other game out there. Um, it doesn't really matter to the homeowner, from what I've seen. You know they, it's it's maintenance. It's something that uh, you know it's it's not something that they really even think about much beyond I need to get this done or else my homeowners association is going to be up my ass. So you know I've I've tried to kind of you know explain why it's better to go with you know to go with me than some of the others um in our neighborhood it's mostly uh we, we have mostly teams of like like haitian guys that come in and do the lawns and they have really kind of old rusty old equipment um and they just they don't do a great job they they come in and i, I call it lawn shucking they basically come in and shuck your lawn kind of like if you've ever been in the produce department at Walmart or Publix or whatever grocery store you have near you, and uh, you'll you know you see those ladies who for whatever reason don't want to shuck their corn at home, and they just stand there, you know, with a trash can next to the corn, just vigorously just shucking the corn, and that's kind of to me what I'm seeing when I'm watching these guys mow the lawn. There's no there's no finesse. It's just very roughly. Uh, just knocking these yards out and they're doing it quick and just no attention to detail breaking sprinkler heads you know not not fix them not replace them you know that you know that kind of thing and that's kind of the, the, the you know the service that we have in my area so you know I've tried to set myself apart from that and explain why you know I'd be the better choice um, you know because obviously you know having the owner of the business mowing your yard every time is uh, gonna be better than you know some joe schmo off you know doesn't speak any english uh you know just some, some guy who works for the company and doesn't really have a stake in 
you know, in the business. You know, he doesn't care about the you know, how the quality is. Just cares if he gets paid at the end of the week. And you know, to me that to me, I feel like that's you know kind of sets us apart. Um, but to the homeowner, it seems like they just want it to get done, however it gets done, uh, for the cheapest amount of money. And that's a big thing here too, with the um, amount of guys here, uh, you know, who will, you know, the, the amount of lawn care guys that we have in the area, and um, you know, the uh, we, we do have a huge you know issue here with um, you know illegal workers and that kind of thing. They charge. Um, they charge like nothing per you know per lawn. I, I went out and did a uh, give somebody an estimate. Uh, yes, yesterday. No, day before yesterday, and they wanted um, you know they wanted to see how much I would charge, and I gave them, I gave them a really fair fair rate for their um, you know for what they wanted. The lady was super picky. She wanted you know everything done a certain way and a bunch of weird you know plant beds out in the yard that you know were growing all all wild and stuff and wanted those attended to you know a certain way and edged around you know just so and I gave her a quote for um I believe it was right around 30 bucks 30 to 35 a cut and I quote her no, I quote her I quote her 100 bucks um for you know three cuts a month and I thought that was fair for what she was asking and you know what the amount of work that I had to do but she currently the current lawn service she's going with that she's unhappy with because they're not doing all the extra you know detail stuff it's only charging her uh 23 bucks a cut which is very low um especially for what she's for what she was asking and i i just i couldn't i couldn't touch that so um i mean i mean i maybe i could have but what I've wanted to probably not. It was gonna be way more of a headache than than it was worth. Um, but anyway, just a quick. I just want to you know give you guys a quick update uh, on my uh, you know my first job. They're not gonna be home um, when I do when I when I go to mow. Uh, so it's gonna be either Thursday or Friday. Uh, I do plan to video because um, I do want to do a give you guys an honest review on my Hustler Super S. Um, so I do plan to do some videoing, and I will upload that uh, pretty much as soon as I can. And, <clears throat> and um, yeah, that's all I got for you right now. Um, I definitely appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch my videos. And uh, if you could, just uh, please hit that subscribe button. That would mean the world to me. Um, I've uh, actually you know, increased my viewership a little bit in the past week, and um, I do really really appreciate you know those of you who who have subscribed and take the time to uh you know take time to watch my videos and um yeah if you could also leave some comments um that would be great as well i always uh look forward to reading those and uh we'll see you next time it's been Do james dolan with dolan family lawn care see you later